have carefully curated a list of must-know techniques that will take you from a complete beginner to a mixed media master. Today for Technique 3 we are going to be working on mixing and matching our stamps before we actually take them to our project. This is such a simple technique. We're creating our own collage paper which takes the stress out of stamping directly onto your project. Hello and welcome to video and tag number three in the Mixed Media and Art Journal 10 Minute Technique Series. So to create this fantastic background that actually has a lot less stress than stamping directly into your art journal page or onto your mixed media project, we are going to be creating our design on tissue paper first and then transferring it instead. This means if we make any mistakes, if we stamp somewhere and we don't like the look of it, we can just not use that afterwards. I'm also going to show you how to easily blend the design into your tag rather than it having harsh edges. So I have chosen to go with a text stamp. Again, as always, I'm not trying to sell these items. There won't be links to the items below unless they are a really generic thing that I use all the time, like my ink pads. Um, but these are stamps that I just have in my stash. So I've got a, a text one. I've got one that's a design on here. It's kind of a bit, um, it's an underwater theme, but it's like got submarine type things. It's just detail, it's just circles and lines and a bit graphic. I really like that. And then I've got this bold flower that's actually quite a solid design. So that's really going to show up nicely. Now I'm working on my watercolor tag here. We've already discussed this in video number one. So you can go back and see how I create the tags if you need to on the playlist. I'm also going to be using an ink. Now I've got two different options here in my stash. I need to make sure that I am using an ink in A, the colour that I like, but also the fact that when this is dry, it is resistant to water or moisture. That is the most important thing. Both of these are, and they are really common ink pads that people will have in their stash for stamping. So we've got Memento and I've got that in Tuxedo Black. And then I've got the black Versafine Clair as well. I'm going to use the Versafine Clair because I've just re-inked it, so I know that this has got lots of ink in there. I've got some white tissue paper as well. Um, this actually came in a uh, box wrapped up, so some items were wrapped in it, and as soon as I saw it, I knew exactly what I'd want to be using it for. So I'm going to place my tag underneath the tissue paper just to give me a rough idea of whereabouts my design is going to sit on my tag. Now I want to focus, as always, most of my design around this area of my tag, so I'm going to be stamping in that area. But I'm not worried if I have to stamp slightly over that because we are going to just pick the areas that we want in a little while. Now the first thing I'm going to stamp is the solid because this is going to be the main image. So I'm going to place this onto an acrylic block. These are really old red rubber stamps. They used to have a foam backing on them. I took that off. I don't know why, probably to fit them in an old stamping platform, one that didn't work with all brands at once maybe, I'm not sure, but either way I've still got the stamp. So I'm going to ink this in black first of all in my Versafine, there we go, just make sure that's fully inked. And with any stamp I do like to make sure that I haven't got anything inked that shouldn't be. So just a little bit on the edge there, so just take that off. Now the beauty of this, creating your own collage paper, is that you don't have to make it perfect. So if you've got a little bit of ink splat somewhere that shouldn't be, that's fine, you can go with that. But I wouldn't want to be stamping this directly onto my cardstock underneath, onto my tag, because I would worry about it be having to be absolutely perfect first time. So I've stamped my flower there, I'm just going to remove the excess ink from the stamp, although I never fully, fully clean my stamps because I find they actually work better when they've got a little bit of old ink on them. Then I'm going to go in with this fantastic design here. So I'm actually going to use this off the um, block now because there's a large stamp. I, I don't really want to stamp all of this, I only want to stamp a little bit of it. So I'm just going to put this First of all, into the ink so I can see whether there's a right and wrong way. Um, I don't think there is. I think either way up would work with this. It's such a great design. Hopefully you can see a bit more. It's a bit mechanical. I'm going to just hold my stamp, just curve it and roll a little bit of the design on. Like so. That's great. Perfect. And then again down here. 
in a few areas. Again, give that a little bit of a wipe, but I'm not cleaning it perfectly. And I'm going to do the same now with my text. So I'm going to ink some of this text up. You can really see it's quite a small text there. Let's get some of the larger words in there as well. And let's just start at the bottom here come at the top so the flower is starting to really blend in here a little bit and I like to do second and third impressions whereby I'm actually stamping but not re-inking so I get a slightly paler look there we go so I'm actually quite happy with that so far the only thing I think I would like to do is add a few ink splats and I do happen to have an ink splat stamp set. Okay, I have got my design and I'm more than happy with that. I've just made my own collage paper. Now it's really important that that thoroughly dries. As you can see from the shine, there's a lot of moisture in there. So pop that side to dry or of course, again, you can take your heat tool to it. So now this is fully dry, I need to decide, do I want to use the entire image or a part of it? Now I would actually be happy using the entire image on my tag there because I've not filled it. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away this larger blob here. And you can do that really easy with tissue paper. So I've got myself a water brush here and I'm just going to draw a line. I'm just going to first of all make sure that this doesn't have any colour on it because I can see there's some purple on the brush there and I don't want any colour going onto my project. So I'm going to squeeze the water through this until that runs clear. Okay, now I'm happy. So now I'm going to run a wet brush around this tissue paper image and under that splatter that I thought was a little bit too harsh, just like so. Now that's wet, you should easily be able to tear away your image from the rest. And I like to do it this way because this actually gives us a really nice soft edge. If we were to do it with scissors, we would of course have a much harsher edge to it. Now your tissue paper, once again, is then going to be wet. It's a good idea to allow this to dry or to take a heat tool to it and dry it off once more. Now fully dry, we can apply this to our project. We know that the stamping is exactly where we want it to be and we can get this now faded in because we've got this rough edge, this kind of faded out edge from tearing the tissue paper. Now I want this to overlap the edge as such. I want it to finish all the way over the edge so I'm not worried about this bit I can cut that off later but these bits I wanted to fade out and I think that's actually got a really nice effect by using that second and third generation stamping so the stamping is not as bold here and again by wetting and tearing that tissue paper so work out whereabouts that wants to be and then we're going to use an adhesive. Now, my preferred adhesive is the Distress Collage Medium, and I like to use a matte so we don't get a glossy finish. But if you don't have a collage glue like this, or a decoupage glue, something like just even PVA, you could try this with PVA glue with your ordinary paper craft glues, try it with that as long as they dry transparent that is the most important thing if you have a glue that still stays wet uh, white when it's dry then that is not going to allow your image to show through so i will be working with the collage medium today and i'm going to place this down on my tag and i'm going to use a foam brush here to smooth that down and just ensure that i get a really nice even coverage over the entire tag I must have a bit of ink on my desk there that's just transferred, but that's okay. And work out whereabouts I want that to go. And then just press that tissue paper down into the collage medium. Just be aware of any uh, ink that's still wet on there. Just ensure that you're not smudging your ink if it is still damp. And I like to take some kitchen towel because it's absorbent and just brush that all over. So there's a tiny little bit of ink still coming off of the tissue paper or it's not fully dry. So I just need to be aware of that smudging. Now the edges, you can either fold those over and glue them to the underneath. I'm just going to trim them just along the edges here to make sure it's a nice smooth finish. Now, as you can see, we've created our own collage paper. We've transferred it to our base and that's ready to now go in with any technique that you want to, to add color, if you want to add color, 
add embellishment, add a sentiment and so on and so forth. And of course there's two ways of adding colour to your project in the previous two videos in the playlist. You'll find that playlist here if you've not already checked out the entire series. There's also an introduction video explaining the series and what you'll learn throughout. So I hope you can join me in the Facebook group that is linked down below for you and I hope to see you again in this mixed media and art journal 10 minute technique series.